Oh, come on, Bubba. You really think that Riley can take Johnson? Are you crazy? Johnson will take him in the first round. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, really? Well, put your money where your mouth is. That's big enough to hold your money wallet and your checkbook. <laughs> oh, oh, how much? Oh, uh, come on. Come on, you're getting warmer. All right, now, double that. Now you're talking two dollars. You got it. <laughs> right. Okay, see you later. Oh, got two big ones. Hey, Grady. I'm in the kitchen, Lamar. Well, come on out here. I got somebody I want you to meet. Well, don't shout. A person shouldn't shout from room to room. If a person has something to say to a person in another room, that person should walk in there and say it. The trouble with you young folks is you'd rather shout your way through life than to walk. <laughs> Would you come on out here? I got somebody I want you to meet. Yeah, all right. Just let me get this thing off. You'll be right out, Herm. Hey, you sure he's not gonna get upset about me having been in jail? Oh, no, man. Look, don't even worry about it. Grady's a pretty nice dude. Speak up! You talking to me? Did you get out of here? <laughs> oh. Uh, Grady, do you remember Earl Edwards? Oh, yeah. Well, this is Earl's baby brother, Herman. Herman, Grady Wilson. How you doing? Hey, hi, uh, Herman. How you doing? Where's Earl? Oh, Earl's, uh, he's just about getting ready to get into law school now. Oh, wow, that's great. You know, we need more kids like you and Earl, not like some of these kids we got growing up today. Mm. Uh, Grady, uh, Herman's gonna be staying with us for a while. Oh, boy, why? Well, because he doesn't have a place of his own. Oh, well, how come? <laughs> he spent the last two years in prison. <laughs> in the kitchen, Lamar. Just make yourself at home, Herman, all right? Yeah, thanks, man. Are you crazy bringing a killer into this house? Grady, Herman is not a killer. Well, he's been to jail, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been to jail. Well, he's a crook and a killer. And he's, and he's in there alone, in the living room, Lamar. <laughs> All right, you, put down those ass trays. Oh, man, please. All right, come on, up against the wall. Uh, well, don't you want me to raise my hands? Yeah, right, raise your hands. Yeah, and what about my legs? Yeah, raise those two. Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> shouldn't I spread them? Yeah, spread them. Oh, yeah, okay. Now what? Now what? <laughs> now stop it. Now, Herman is not a killer. Well, 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 how come he went to prison? Because of circumstantial evidence, he just happened to be at the scene of a crime. Oh. You just happened to be at the scene of a crime. What were you doing there? Committing it. Well, that's... <laughs> that's circumstantial evidence, all right. Come on, Herman. Now, where are you taking this jailbird? I'm taking him upstairs, Grady, and he's not a jailbird. He's got a name. Oh, yeah? Spell it for me. Number by number. <laughs> Herman was arrested when he was 20 years old for stealing a hi-fi set. He spent two years in prison, and he's paid his debt to society. Oh, well, I ain't in society, so I haven't been paid yet. Hey, look, Lamont, man, maybe I better split. I don't want no more hassles. No, man, man where you gonna go? He ain't got no place to stay, Grady. He got kicked out of his apartment because he couldn't pay the rent. Now, Herman is gonna stay here with us until he finds himself a job, and that's all there is to it. You got that? Okay. I just happen to have a job for him. Here, Herman, here's a quarter. Your job is to get out. Now, goodbye, <laughs> Come on. Shakedown is at 0800 hours. And child is at 0830 hours. And breakout time is any time you want to go. 